Hi, all my YouTube family. I'm so glad that you are here today. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing because we have some great content here about the mature woman, how much we love life, how much we love makeup and skincare and all of those things that make us feel beautiful all the time. Everybody, please don't forget to hit that bell icon down there that will notify you of any videos that I'm having in the future. I've been having people tell me that my videos are kind of slipping through the cracks. Some people have even been unsubscribed. So even though you're here and you may have gotten my video in your feed check and make sure that you're subscribed because youtube does that sometimes to everybody so we're going to be talking today about a few products that i have had in my collection for at least as long as i've been here on youtube which is a little over four years and i will continue to have them no matter what they are things that i will repurchase over and over again if something happens to them, if they get old, whatever, I'm going to continue to use them because I love them that much. So let's get into nothing new, what's old, but I will continue to love it forever. Okay, so most of these things that I have here, not gonna be any surprise to most of you because I've had them forever. Like I said, I'm just talking about things that I reach for, that I have, that I use almost on a daily basis. The first thing is this Lancome Ab Absolute Powder in Absolute Golden. I know that this is a higher end product. I know that it costs a little bit more, you guys, but to me, this was worth the investment. I do think that this jar is $60. I know that sounds like a lot, but this has lasted me. I mean, I really have had this for the four years and I know you're not supposed to keep makeup that long, but do you remember when we were kids and we kept makeup for like 20 years? <laughs> and we never even thought a thing about it. This is still going strong. It doesn't have a weird smell to it. And this is what I wear as a finishing powder all the time, unless I'm testing something else out. And I don't even know if you're gonna be able to see that or not. Let me see if I can swatch a little bit bigger of a swatch for you. But this definitely just gives your skin this finished, perfected, beautiful look to it. And you guys, I am in love with it. And I will buy this over and over again. If it goes bad, if I have to re, you know, repurchase, I don't see this big, huge thing ever running out, but <laughs> I will definitely keep an eye on it. And if I need to repurchase it because it's too old, I'll do that too. But it just gives the most beautiful glow across my skin. And you guys have kind of been asking me lately about my skin. I really do think it is a combination of products, but this product is one of them that lends it to my skin looking perfected. And I just really do love it. And they have tons of other colors if you wanna look into that too. I don't know why I started off with the powder, but I'm gonna revert here to skincare, you guys. This line right here, which is Suko Yakusuhara, I have been using this for a very, very long time. These are not my first go rounds in these, you guys. Each of these products I've at least purchased five times each. Just so you know, that's how much I love these. And they last a really long time, but th these are the Suko Yaka Suhada Urea Moisture Items. This one is called the lotion, but as you can see, it's an essence. In Japanese, I guess that essence can be translated lotion, so that's why they do call it a lotion. This one is the eye cream. And then this one is their occlusive, um, just the regular cream. It's very thick and very balmy. I only wear this at night. And I usually, in the uh, winter time, I put it all over my face because it's very dry with the dry heat. But in the summertime, I usually only put this around my eyes to keep my eyes super moisture moisturized at night because it is just super, super thick and very moisturizing. So if so you're somebody that is oily, these products might not appeal to you as much. The lotion might because even though you are oily, the lotion and being in essence, it's super light. And I know that when I say this, everybody's going to be going, you're not doing it the right way. But <laughs> I use this as my moisture in the morning as my last step. So I'll put on all of my serums, all of my other essences, and then I will pat my face with this. And you guys, through the day, my skin looks dewy. I don't look dried out. It is not an occlusive product, but that urea in there is really the star of the show. And it is hyper moisturizing. I mean, you are going to be so hydrated that your makeup's gonna look better than it ever has before if you are anywhere from combo to dry skin, normal skin, whatever. You guys really honestly, these products are my skincare superstars. And I really feel like that is the case about the eye cream, especially because I have very, very deep wrinkles underneath my eyes from laugh lines and out here. And those don't go away even if I put makeup on, even if I put skincare on. But when I wear the eye cream, it really plumps it up and, and makes it just look so diminished on those lines. So 
I can't say enough good about these three products. I will continue to repurchase them. I will never ever be without them. As a matter of fact, I did run out of this thinking that I could do without it for the summer. It was like three days and I was repurchasing it again immediately. Now, let me just tell you really quickly, I do say this almost every time I mention urea, someone will say, isn't urea a, a byproduct of urine? Yes, urea is a byproduct of urine and yes, it is a highly moisturized, moisturizing ingredient. However, these are not ones with urine in them. They don't have any urine in them. They are created in a lab. The urea that is in here is created in a lab so that it is safe for our skin. Obviously, I wouldn't put urine on my face and I hope none of you would either, but these are just so good, you guys. And I feel like they help keep me moisturized and having a youthful glow throughout the day and into the night. So I absolutely adore these and I can't say enough good about them and they've been around my channel forever. I want to mention to you a brush that is not new to me. This one I got before my YouTube channel. This is an it brush. It's an angled stipple blush brush. You can get this on QVC and you get a cream blush that comes with it. But this is a fantastic brush. The reason is, is because it's very dense down here, but these bristles on the end are really, really um, airy. And so the angle on it is perfect for me as well. It picks up just a small amount and I always start back here and then just kind of just pounce or bounce or whatever you want to call it, stipple it into my cheeks. And honestly, you guys, I panic when I can't find this brush and I'm like, it's, you know, I've been in the car doing my makeup and it's fallen on the floor or something and it's not in my makeup bag and I panic because this brush is what I put my blush on every time. I really need to buy a backup is what I need to do. But honestly, this is just the most beautiful way for me as a mature woman to put my blush on. And you guys, I know that this is a little bit pricier, but I feel like brushes are an investment that I don't mind investing in because they're going to last forever. And like this brush, I did um, use it today, so it does still have a little bit of blush in there, you guys, but it does clean up like a dream. It does have a little bit of staining through the years of, you know, using pink blush on it forever. But this is the best brush I have ever, ever found. And if you've been here, you know that I've mentioned it a million times probably two and a half, maybe three years ago. This is from Zoeva and it's their authentic skin foundation. You guys, this is a amazing foundation for a mature woman. I just this barely did a video on all the drugstore uh, foundations that I love, but I thought that I would show this to you guys because this is my high-end foundation that I love the best. And honestly, this has been, this is my second one and I wear this all the time. And I did do a try on test for you guys here on YouTube. So I'll try to make sure I link that video down below. But this is so good for mature skin because it doesn't look like foundation. It just looks like your skin, but it hides your imperfections. It doesn't go into texture. I feel like it wears so well throughout the day. And it's just one of those foundations that I reach for over and over and over again. And I will continue to purchase it. It's like everybody talks about either the Lancome tint I I doll, I think that's how you say it, or the Estee Lauder double wear. That's honestly how I feel about this one. It just truly is such a beautiful, perfect foundation for me. Also, this is a lipstick that I have repurchased so many times. This is a fairly new one to me, actually. This is in Snob. This is what I have on today. It is so pretty, you guys. I love it. And it is one that I just continue to buy over and over again because it is my perfect pink. It is one of those pinks that makes my lips look bright and pretty and I just really like it. The formula, I don't know whether this is a matte or a satin, but I know it's not a, well, it might be a cream. I'm not sure you guys, but this really truly is one of my favorite lipsticks that is higher end that I continue to repurchase. You know what though? I will give you a dupe right here. <laughs> if you can't afford to get a MAC lipstick in Snob, Blushing Pout from Maybelline, that one, even though it is a little bit more on the matte side, it's the perfect color dupe for that. I need to put that in a video one of these times, which I will do. So I wanna just make sure I tell you guys about that. And I think this is a, more about the color than anything. So it just works out to be really, really the perfect color for me. And I reach for it over and over again. And I've bought that multiple times, had it in my collection for as long as I can remember. This right here came out, oh goodness, this came out, when did these come out? The Master Chromes from Maybelline. I'm not sure when these came out, but they came out a while ago. And you guys, these were kind of the first drugstore 
highlighters to hit and wow they just did a great job on it what i do like about this one more than some that i have found recently that are really super high beam is that this one is really brightness without being too over the top metallic if you like the essence pure nude highlighter and you like that subtle glow that it gives you this these from maybelline can do that same thing but i'll tell you guys they are just a little like they're just a bump above the essence pure nude highlighter and that's what i like about it is they just give a little bit more glow a little bit more shine on those cheeks without being too metallic where you're going to look at it and go whoa girl you're you know you're a disco ball slow down <laughs> no it's nothing like that it's just really pretty formula is really gorgeous on it and i find that as long as i stay out of my pore area right here and just bump that onto the cheeks kind of maybe onto the eye the inner corner then it's going to be then it's going to be really, really pretty on me. And I really like it, you guys. It's one of those that I will continue to have. Also, if you've been here any amount of time, you're going to know the next product. And that is the Sephora Collection. This is their contour color. This is a single. I have had three of these. I don't know. It might just be two, but I've had this for a long time. This is the most gorgeous, perfect, wonderful color to contour with. Now, I say that because look at it, it looks like mud, it looks like dirt. And what you really want to think about is receding with contour, highlighting brings things forward. I need to shadow these areas that are so troublesome, like my high forehead, my jowls that are developing right here. If you have a double chin, you can go straight down your double chin in a straight blended out line and it can really help that recede, that area recede. If you don't have any cheekbones, you can help build cheekbones. That's what I do with this too. But honestly, you guys, as long as I can remember, I have had this, um, a YouTuber named Trish Oliver. She's the person that turned me on to it years ago you guys and i have not been without it since it sells out quickly because it's that popular so make sure that you grab it up if you do see it beautiful 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 contour two of my favorite eye products this one from maybelline the lash sensational mascara and i actually have it in the waterproof I have had, whoops, I have had this stuff forever. It has a curved wand. It is the wand that is the rubber wand. It's not the soft bristles. So um, if you don't like that, you might be aware of that. But this will make my eyelashes look fantastic. It will make them look lengthened and it will hold the curl because it's the waterproof formula and it will it's the deepest black and I just love it. I love everything about and it. That's and kind of the same thing with this eyeliner from Physicians Formula. This is the waterproof one. This is the eye booster eyeliner. It's, it's just, just a really fine felt tip. Now I will say about this one, I absolutely adore this formula and I love that it stays on all day and I love that this is supposed to be have lash loving ingredients in it so you know you paint it on your lash line and it's supposed to help your lashes grow great concept I don't know if that's the case or not but it does occasionally drip a little bit so I just take um, my tissue and I wipe that off real quickly before I use it that is one con about it but I have bought this so many times you guys and the reason is is because I can get I didn't there, but you can get a very tight line across the top lashes, and that's what I use this for because my hands shake. I love having a pen. And it works so much better for me and this formula because it's waterproof it lasts all day long it you know really helps my eyes because i can get right down there and it's so fine i can get right down there in that lash line and create that line that helps your lashes look longer and so yeah absolutely adore that i want to mention some blushes that i have in my collection that i don't talk about very much but it's the laura geller baked blushes seems like laura geller has kind of been lost these days but when i was looking through my makeup collection to find items to do this video i thought you know what why am i not talking about these more i reach for them all the time and they're so beautiful this one is in pink buttercream and this is probably my very favorite out of everything that she has but that's because of my skin tone she would have one that would match yours as well i'm sure look how bright and how pretty it is but it does have a subtle subtle glow in it not too much that it's going to show up texture again but just enough that it just makes you look like you've got this really beautiful ethereal look on your face and i just think that it is just a stunner you guys it's so pretty and i love her packaging on this it just seems to be really luxe and really high-end you have a little mirror up here and 
and they seem to last forever and they're very long wearing as well so definitely wanted to tell you guys about that and that is my last product i love this i will continue to buy these i really hope that nothing is happening to laura geller because i don't see her very much on youtube i think it's just a brand that doesn't get enough love so you guys that is it for today's video of the things that are old in my collection and i will continue to keep around because i absolutely love them and i won't be without them so i hope that you did enjoy this please don't forget to give it that thumbs up i appreciate that and i hope that you are all staying safe we are having another surge around the world of the pandemic and i hope that each and every one of you are staying safe practicing your social distancing and your safety me measures in order to keep yourself healthy please stay sanitized stay safe stay warm stay hydrated stay all of those yummy good feels i'm sending you a big hug i love you very much and i'll catch you all in my next video bye guys